Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Did you really stop the recording and, and start over? What the heck? Yes, I did. Why? Because. Because balls? Because you decided to criticize me. I wasn't criticizing you. I was making a joke about it. Yeah, well, I started over anyway. Uh, we're doing any N64 roulette. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind... Let's spin the wheel and see what we're playing first. You know, I was going to give you a handy, but now I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Really? You weren't acting like you wanted to give me a handy. Well, it's because you didn't give me a chance. I oh, didn't give is you this... a chancy. You didn't give me a chancy to give you a handy. Oh, escorts. Yes, indeedy. You played this game many years ago. On yeah, one of your... It might not have even been MVG Live, I'll be honest. It might have been like... No, it wasn't. It yeah, might, it it might... I think it was just a random stream. I don't, know, I don't think there was a title to it. I, I, think it, I think it was a show called that rhymed with Sleek Poos laming i don't know sleek sleek poos yeah sure <laughs> i don't i went to school with a sleek poos new job <laughs> he was from bombay <laughs> michigan the hometown of sabu that's right now the one thing i hated about this game was when you had to play as the dump truck and you had to like do that spinny move to kind of destroy the buildings. Mike. Michael. What? Don't, don't, don't. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were getting me a little nervous there for a second. Hitlin. <laughs> oh my god, it's Adolf Hitlin. <laughs> Yeah, I got a clear path for the carrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Or else it'll explode. Oh, this music. Time to get moving. Anyway. Shouldn't we do something else or however that, uh... I feel like that's what the guy says. Something like that. I only remember the time to get moving part. Time to get moving. My, 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 my racer. All right. My, 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 my. I need you. You know, uh, speaking of wrestling, there has been some rather distressing news for Marty Jannetty. He's got to lose Apparently, a leg, right? Yeah. I mean, his freaking, this, on the same day his sister died, he gets told by doctors, oh, sorry, Marty, we're going to have to amputate your leg. That's awful. Uh, you know, part of me is like, <laughs> that's what you get for being a fucking whack job, yeah. white ringer, right winger Trump fan. But... Yeah. The, but, you know... The fact of the matter is, life pretty much kicks Marty Jannetty in the dick many times over. Uh, because, like, for example, Shawn Michaels became the bigger star. Marty Jannetty was fired like 27,000 times. Uh, yeah. And now he's losing a fucking leg. Poor dude. Doesn't that just. I kind of feel for him, except he allegedly killed a man, so I don't know. Uh, in self-defense, or so he claims. Oh, these are extra levels. Let's go backlash. It's right after WrestleMania. Oh. That's the gosh ding -a dang -a. Using my armored oh. rear. I always said Mike has a nice dump truck eggs. I do. 
if it was the silver medal. Okay. Mm hmm. And yeah, this was the one. This was the one that was really fucky. Because he had a, he had to hit it at just the right yeah. point. And definitely not like that. No, you don't gently tap it like a, uh, like that. Whoa! Actually, not doing too bad this time. No. Yeah, I have that. Going out, I, I'm entering at the wrong angle is the problem. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta do a flip. I do a barrel roll. I there it. you go. I do it. Good, good job. Did I get a silver at least? I don't, I don't know what I got. Fifty-five seconds though, it's not bad. The, the best thing said uh, said 35. Oh. I'm not sure I if I got... I don't know what's considered... Uh... Oh, this I liked this one. Yeah, this one's easy. Except when you miss that one portion of it. I'm assuming I gotta hit the R button again. Time to get moving. And okay. boom. Oh, that one you have to get ammo boxes. Yeah, yeah I didn't even. I don't think I got any ammo boxes. I might have gotten one on accident. That was a damn good time, actually. I'm so proud of you. What's that? Character point? Yeah. J bomb. Hmm. Let's see what J bomb is. Oh my god, it's this thing. Okay. Oh, it's the one where you have to do the, the fucking butt slam. Yeah. Yeah. It's A to do. Okay, A and B. A and then B from a height. Got it. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Let's go. Oh, man. I don't know if you are a connoisseur of rock festivals nowadays, but I'm looking at the Welcome to Rockville lineup yeah. in Daytona. Let's go away. God, they have a lot of fucking bands in this, this thing. Yeah, I don't know... Some, it's, it seems like festivals are trying to overcompensate for something, and I'm not sure well, exactly why. This is a four-day festival in Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah. Thursday to Sunday. Yes. Now, just look. listen to these names. Look at this. Okay. Motley Crue, Judas Priest, Anthrax, Limp Biscuit, Foo Fighters, Slipknot, Breaking Benjamin, Primus, Disturbed, Mudvayne, Skillet, Saliva, Orgy, Wiley, The Offspring, Living Color, fucking Alien Ant Farm, they're still around? Yeah, they just released Ooh. a new album, I think. Uh -huh. Queens of the Stone Age, Stone Temple Pilots, Evanescence, Sebastian Bach, Drowning Pool, a Biohazard, Stabbing Every Westward. Every rock band ever, what is this? Mr. Bungle, Cypress Hill, L7, Helmet, okay. Head PE, Sum 41, Atreyu, oh, and I'm not even reading, I'm not even reading all of that, I'm just reading the ones that I know. Holy crap. Uh, in Flames, Clutch, Crobot, Black Veil Brides, Plush, in The Insane Clown Posse, uh, Tech Nine. Uh, that's 
I mean, to be fair, it seems like there's four different stages over the course of four days. So I, I, I guess I can understand having this many bands, but jeez, that's, that's insanity. I don't even know. The last time I went to, I went to like Mayhem tour once, and I was exhausted, and I didn't even get to see everybody I went to go see. There's just so many bands playing, and there's no way in hell you're ever going to see them all. I so I failed to see the point ago, most times. Years ago, I went to Ozfest, and it was so fucking overstimulating because, like, it seemed like no matter where you turn, there was a band playing somewhere. And it's like, well, I, I who, who do I listen to? Who, who do, where do I go? Right. I do remember that was my exposure to Mudvayne, and that was pretty cool. But yeah, that's I don't that that's why I typically don't enjoy fe going to festivals. I I don't I don't see the point. I mean. I would go to a one-day festival where yeah. it was like over the course of like nine to twelve hours, there's bands. But a four-day festival and not, and not more than say like maybe ten bands, because I'm not going to see them all anyway. I might as well, you know. It's a little ridiculous. Oh God! Some of these I didn't even know some of these bands were still around. Whoops! I was not aware. I thought Blackdale Brides was a done deal a long time ago. I thought L7 broke up. I just It's a it's a solid fucking lineup, but Jesus. Yeah. Uh, it's it sounds like bloody insanity and I'm not I'm not down for that. Oh my lord. General admission for Oh, okay, this is a four pack of tickets. That makes a little more sense. I was gonna say one thousand one hundred and ninety-nine dollars for the entire weekend is utter insanity, but it, that's for that's for four tickets, not one, so <sighs> You know, there there's a stunning lack of festivals that come to the New York and New Jersey area nowadays. Yeah. I can't imagine why. I mean, you uh, The closest we have is the fucking Barefoot Country Music Festival in Wildwood, New Jersey that's coming up in June. And that just sounds like the good old yeehaw, we're gonna bring beer and women and I hate liberals kind of country shit. Right. I mean, there is the governor's ball, but it's all, it's all just mainstream pop shit. Like, Lollapalooza is happening this year. I don't know if you do this. Lollapalooza is? Okay. Who's at Lollapalooza yeah. this year? Do you know? Um, they haven't announced the the uh, bands yet, but if it's anything like last year, because I'm looking at this, the uh, Chicago lineup for last year, and it's all just like Carly Ray, Carly Ray Jepsen and little Yachty or whatever his name is. It's all like electronic, pop, club Lala, shit. Lollapalooza is now for Gen Z. I'm well, not here for that, unfortunately. My um, time with Lollapalooza would have probably been 20 years ago, unfortunately. It seems, I'm looking at this list, it seems like the closest thing to a quote unquote rock set is Red Hot Chili Peppers and Portugal the Man. Okay, then. 
I like one Portugal Demand song, and that's pretty much And uh, Okay, I, I, I like two Portugal Demand songs, but that's about it. Which one would that be? Feel It Still, and then... Uh, uh, live in the moment. Gotcha. I just, you know, I look at these past lineups of Wild Palooza. Like, think about this. The very first lineup for Wild Palooza in 1991 was Jane's Addiction, Susie and the Banshees. Living Color, Nine Inch Nails, Ice Tea and Body Count, Butthole Surfers, and Rollins Band. See, that would have been a great one to go to. And it's just like, it's unfortunate that at the time, A, well, it, it did go to New Jersey, but I was seven, seven years old when this happened. So, you know, it's like I couldn't. I didn't know any of these bands, and I wouldn't, probably wouldn't enjoy myself as a seven-year-old, like, oh, hey, Nine Inch Nails, what do they do? Oh, my God. They want to what me like an animal? What? I still wants to kill him. Son of a bitch. Hmm. I don't, yeah, I'm not a fan of the, uh, of this vehicle. Of this vehicle. Damn it. People talk about the uh, the Ponaru Festival as kind of like the spiritual successor for rock festivals like uh, Lollapalooza. But even they are just like uh, okay, for every fish and lumineers, there's fucking close small oak. And draw this Gambino. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't. Oh. Ah! And then I just run into oh. the tanker, yep. Well, I I you never just... got the hang of bl the backlash one, I guess. No. I told you, that's the one that I don't like. Yeah, because it's a pain in the ass to control. Mm -hmm. For fuck's sake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Any other... Uh, any other ah. vehicle, please. Something. Anything. Come on, man. Oh. Oh. And it's always, you're always just, just missing it. There we go. There. It's like not at all the way you're intended to do it, but I don't No, I don't but you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hmm. Oh, look out. Oh, no. Oh. Well, at least that one blew up. Yeah, that one went down pretty easily. Yeah. It would be uh. nice if I didn't miss it all the fucking time. This isn't dropping this. Good lord. Ah, oh, who's... Who's barking at the door? Oh, backing into it does nothing, apparently. <laughs> Just ask my last date. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, 
boy. Are there any uh, accoutrements we could uh, put on this bad boy? I've oh, thank it. God. Just that barely. Was a close. That was a close one. There's probably are some accoutrements. I just didn't bother. Yeah, infinite time. Uh, Ball ballista, you know, ballista can drive through anything. That would just defeat their bold purpose of the game. I'd say. I uh, guess. Thoughts on Blast Core it, game? It was. It's a very fun game. I think it's a guilty pleasure. It's one of those games where I would always play it at a friend's house. But I never got around to owning it myself. But I probably should have because this is a very enjoyable game. Yeah, uh, with with a few exceptions, this is a very enjoyable game from from start to finish. Um, the 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 control movement for some of the vehicles could be a little bit better, but outside of that, it's it's a perfectly enjoyable game. Scores out of ten, Dane. Eight. I'm going to give this a 7. And we're going to spin our spin the wheel and see what we're playing second. Spin There's a couple in here that I hope you get. Oh, and this is one of them. If I happen to see what it was. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Um, this game is responsible for one of the most viewed videos on my channel. That's right. We can get us. We can get a link in the description of that wonderfully kick-ass video. Go and watch it, everybody. Go and support my friend Mike. Oh, even though you already are by. Being by watching, watching this video, this video technically. even human, 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 something about my hymen. What? Uh, what? Yeah, what? I'm not a fan of the music skipping like that, but that's all right. You know, I'm so I'm looking at other. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. So, ah, I forgot their names, unfortunately. There's Wolfie Boy. Tits McGee. Uh, no. <laughs> American McGee. Orchid was the one in the original that had the fatality where she showed her titties. Not to oh. the screen, to the player. To the other Well... Player. Yeah, I would suspect. Listen here, motherfucker. Maya! Maya! Oh my god. Maya god. My Damn it! You have, to also it, damn it. you have to remember my C buttons are actually a stick. That's my joke! I'll kill you! Maya <laughs> he! Maya ha! My uh, my joke. I'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I do it. You did. I did. No fatals, but that's all right. Can you believe this is the last game before the the twenty twenty reboot or whatever it was? What year it came out? I forget. Twenty twenty one. I don't know. I actually don't even remember the reboot. Yeah, it was on Xbox One. Oh. You know, here's a something that I... One of those guilty pleasures of mine that I don't like to readily admit. Right. At one point, I was kind of an Internal Champions fan. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Eternal Champions is a, is a damn fine game. She actually got me, damn. Thanks for not judging me. This is a judgment-free zone. 
Can we make it a judgment free ball? Sure. Yay! Uh, I'll call Jason. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, hold, wait, hold on a second. Why do you just automatically assume that I want to bone him and not you? I want to bone him. I died. Wow. So you're that. You just you do, you you're that desperate to not have me bone you that you would die. That's gratitude. It's platitudinous. <laughs> yeah, it is platitudinous. You're right. <laughs> Ooh, baby! You know another another fighting game that I was a fan of uh, was Primal Rage. That yes, I do enjoy Primal Rage. I used to um, try and knock the uh, villagers back and forth oh, enough times. Uh... Oh no, Jago! Jago, you son of a bitch! Super. Yeah. Oof. Oh. Motherfucker. Orchid is getting your... Oh, what a comeback. Yeah. You had like one sliver of health. I had like one health point, hit point left. Oof. That could have been bad. Could have been bad. Man. Saber Wolf. Mm -hmm. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. In Primal <laughs> Rage, where you uh, hit the villagers back and forth enough times to turn into a volleyball game. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. Jesus, this game is ruthless. It, it is. There is no. There are no characters named Ruth in this game at all. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's my I'm joke. Funny. I'll tell you, ha. Huh? <laughs> well, no, no. I'll give. Oh, I'll give you that one. Oh, motherfucker! Be close one. First my yoke, I'll kill you. This is my yoke, I'll lick you. What? I'll milk you. I have nipples, Greg. Would you milk me? Continue. Absolutely not. Random. Oh, mirror match. Saber Wolf against Saber Wolf. Wolf, for you. Saber Wolf. It's the German way of saying it. With an umlaut over the U. Yes, precisely. Are you uh? Are you hot pink pants or orange I'm, pants? I'm the yeah, the purple pants is me. Okay. Motherfucker. Come on. This is on easy See? also. Ooh, that's... I can't imagine what it's like on... Wow. That's a good hyper combo. Can't imagine what it's like on hard difficulty. I wouldn't be able Ooh, to... Oh, my... Oh. Huh, that's... That is bone chilling. Let's Orchid see... Oh... Uh, uh, Damn. God damn your righteous hand. I get one you know, hit I've in and then they get like seven. Hmm. I think a lot of it Isn't is just because my fucking C stick, my pad, my C buttons are a C stick. Because I'm using the controller, the uh, pro controller. I think that would be the yeah. problem no matter what controller I was using though. Also, mm -hmm. using the actual, like, 
Unless I was using an N64 controller modded for PC. I mean, they have those, don't they? I think so, yeah. I'm looking at the uh, shorts that you've been posting on your Mental Studios YouTube page. Yes. And you've been finding some really fucking funny moments. Well, thank you. It, it does good to, to uh, replace the best of. Yeah, since I can't really, like, they don't have the time to put together compilations. This that really kind of suffices. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord. Finally, I got him down to his second health bar. Well, that's good. I accidentally did that special move. That's, a, that's oh, the best oh, kind of win. Oh, oh. oh. oh, oh damn. Oh. You they almost had it. kicking my ass, man. Jago again. All right. He's the first dude I lost to Saber Wolf with, but all right. Trying a different strategy with my buttons. Using my thumb to on the control stick, and then for the C stick, I'm palm mashing it. That seems to be working better. I was about to say, the strategy seems to be paying off. Yeah. Uh oh. As much as I possibly fucking can. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh. I was hoping I could actually beat him on my first life bar, but that... Uh, that was hoping in vain. Open one hand and poop in the other, see which one fills up first. That's how that goes. Right, Pretty sure the poop hand would fill up first. The, yeah. Absolutely it does. Ugh. Get out of here, Saber Wolf, with your BS. Yes, thank God. They don't. They don't really give you a chance to do uh, fatality kind of things, anyway. No. You have oh, to, yeah, I think you have to knock him down to a certain amount to be able to do a fatality. Okay. Jesus. All right. All right. Your endo puking bull crap. I would appreciate it you if you'd shut up. Jago. You indigo, you indigo girls puking, son of a bitch. I went to the doctor, I went to the mountains. I sang with the children, I drank from the fountains. Now I'm gonna go to fucking little fair. Yeah, something about a crooked life. It's true. See, the joke is Mike is singing an indigo girl song. Yes. I went to the doctor, I went to the mountains, I looked to the children, I drank from the fountains. Sometimes my bra doesn't fit right, but that's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> Wait a second. Now, I don't know if that's... Those, that could go either way. This could either be... Actual Indigo Girls <laughs> lyrics or the Mike Riley version? <laughs> That's the beauty of the joke, is you can't tell. <laughs> even, the, even the Indigo Girls are like, Did you write that That's my favorite. That? That's my favorite thing. That's my favorite type of joke. <laughs> is that you can't tell if it's actually for legitimate or if it's a uh, if it's, it's a, a, if, if I'm BSing you. I don't know. I can't. I couldn't tell. Oh my god! Well, we know Jago would beat up a girl. What a what a bastard! This is 2024, Jago. You just don't do that anymore. We just don't do that here. That's right. We don't set women on fire. Then the cops right. burn off and they get arrested for public nudity, even though there's nothing inherently sexual about breasts. 
Everybody has them. Is this a is this a John Tron joke? Yeah, breed a nipple, all that. It's it's worded to sound like a John Tron joke, but it's not. Uh, Jago absolutely that, whooped my ass on that. <laughs> I was gonna say that does sound like something that John Tron would say. <laughs> Free the nipples. Free the nipples. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Wakanda. As I pick TJ Combo, perfect timing on that. <laughs> Whoops. Free the Wakanda. Nipples forever. <laughs> nipples. <laughs> nipples forever. Yeah. Uh, Wieners never. Wieners never. Yeah. God, if I wanted to talk about freeing the nipples, I'd listen to a PJ Harvey song. Because, <laughs> like, she's real pretty. Mm. Oh, my now, lord. Jacob? I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that's a. Hmm, very interesting word. Hmm, I've never heard of that. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm glad we, I'm glad we <laughs> glad cleared that up. up. I'm going to give it one more college try, and then we'll, we'll, we're going to move on. Oh, okay. Big fish, little the, fish, the, swimming in the, the character water. That, the character that debuted in this game, or K Killer Instinct 2, if you prefer the arcade My version. Yahoo. My Yahoo. My Yahoo. Well, hell, I should have been picking this character from the start. Holy shit. Whoa! I just She's got him. legs. She knows how to walk with them. Uh -oh. Otherwise, she'd be an invalid. And that's probably not good. Unless you... Uh-oh. Oh, I, I thought he was going to knock you off the, uh, the bridge no. there. She got legs. She knows, she knows how, how to, to put pants on them. Unless she had polio, then she can't really do that. She's got legs, but she's a quadriplegic. <laughs> so they just kind of dangle. Yeah. <laughs> they're 90% they're pus. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with this. Thoughts on Killer Instinct Gold Day. <laughs> it's got legs, <laughs> and it's a real good fighting game. Oh. It's not exactly Mortal Kombat, but I still take it. The biggest reason this game, and I pointed this out in the episode of the N64 Chronolog that I did, the, the one that was really fucking popular, um... The reason that this game didn't sell well uh, is because it came out the same day as Tekken 2. So, wow. that's, yeah, that becomes a problem. And that game far outsold this one. And it's unfortunate because Killer Instinct is actually a damn good fighting game. And this is a damn good fighting game. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this game. It's fun to play. It's just a shame that it lost to Tekken. That's pretty much all, and that's, and that would be the last we would hear of the Killer Instinct franchise for 20 years. Scores out of Ooh. 10, Dane. Eight. Yeah, I'm giving it a nine, actually. I feel mm -hmm. that strongly about it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the other show. Heat. I'm going to give this one more uh, flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. See what we're playing next. Oh, Jason's going to be sad he missed this. Mm. I won. Oh, you know, it's so funny. I was just about to say, I wonder what it is. Now I saw what you just clicked on. Yep. So it's apropos of nothing. All I want to do is fuck... Uh, never mind. <laughs> All I want to do is lick some balls. I got, I got a feeling. feeling. I, do I, it. Got a I do it at the mall. I don't know. <laughs> well, that see, that's why you're banned from the Orange Julius. Yeah. You, 
told him to look my it's, orange, Julius, and they were like, no, get out of here. They were like, security... What? That cannot be possible. By the way, this is a Japan-only release. So it's one of the few Japan-only releases we'll get to on the wheel. And obviously, oh. it has been translated. Then any dream could be achieved. Yes, that is correct. Masala. What is the first name? Tika? <laughs> Actually, my first name is Jill, you piece of shit. Jill Masala. Got it. The Gaijin girl the... that lives there. Okay. Mm hmm. Masala. Masala. Bring me that girl Bring me immediately. That girl oh. immediately. Sure thing. Oh. Use whatever it means. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. I will. I will slather her in tikka masala. <laughs> That's fucking gross. Why would you do that? Oh god, it kind of looks vaguely like. Uh... It looked like Rusty Venture. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say this looks kind of like Rusty Venture, didn't it? Yeah. Eek. Hmm. What the? She playing. Hey. A fruit. Hey, you're too far away. Also, Ocarina of Time doesn't come out for another like year and a half. Get over here. Or we'll come to you. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I just got to zoom into this fucking mat gating over here. Josette. Is that any relation to Roxette? Yeah. Uh, all I got to say is Na 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 na. She's not the look. Gotcha. Geppetto. Mm-hmm. You and Bird will. You and Bird will depart together to Blue Land. There, a person called the Player Son will take care of you. Player Son. Player Son, man. Him being called Geppetto makes sense if he made this child. That actually makes that... a lot of sense. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you got over that pretty quick. No sniff sniff. Josette, you have to get dressed for success. Don't be so selfish, smack. Oh. Oh. Um... Did he die? What are these strange? What are these strange boxes? Yeah, go I think it's, it's. I think it's just to uh, for the moving portions of the picture. A little. Uh, it's a little interesting. Yeah, I think it's that's just the emulation. Don't worry about that. Okay. If I could fix it, I would. I, I am considering moving uh, all of the uh, retro roulette shows to retro arch, uh, and, move, and playing them all off of that. I just got to find all the cores. I have it installed on my computer. I just haven't messed with it. But I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure as soon as I find get all the cores that I need to play to do the retro roulette shows, I'll just play them all on that. Okay. Will, Will you, you do, do this, this for me, Josette? Listen, Josette, listen to your heart when he's calling it's for a, you. Uh -oh. It's a song by DHT. <laughs> Josette. What is it? Yeah. Did you know? Live your life to the fullest. Did you know that your lead singer died in 2019? That's rock set. <laughs> that's the that's the fucking joke. <laughs> <God> damn it, <laughs> doctor, doctor, doctor. Oh, oh no, he's gonna Superman punch. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Is he? Is yeah, yeah. yeah sleep, he's he's sure. totally asleep. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, Bird seems like the type of person that, you know, Santa Claus doesn't even accept. Is she going to ask what death is? Yeah, because she's, yeah, she, she's a robot. So. Why does she have roach clips in her hair, by the way? 
I think those are like, you know how you, you put like clips, like uh, to when you jump start your car. I think it's similar to that. <laughs> Suppose. Interesting. Interesting. So like. I don't know what those planes were doing. Oh, well, when two planes. Title, title screen. Wonder Project oh, J2. Yeah. Kororo no Mori no Josette. Yeah, let's they were let's taking those planes on a. They were taking those planes on a joyride. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Let's do this. Type in my name. Uh, uh, okay. My. Oh, shit. Oh, I think it acted. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, the, the, we can change the jo Josette's name, too, if we wanted to. But I think, you know, I'll, I think I'll leave it Josette, though. It would, it'll be even funnier if it's like Josette Roxette. <laughs> We're going to turn speeds up so we can get, so we can get, get, the yeah, get the show on the road. Do not move the 3D stick. Days on the Blue Island. This island, this island is He's blue. blue. <laughs> I it is blue. The Royal Shakespeare Company called. They said, "Stop that." Yes. If I must reach Blue Land, listen. You can if you if you cup your ear, hand to your ear, you can hear it off in the distance. Wow. Hey, let me try. What? <laughs> see, see, you can hear it. Sweet, dude. Hmm. I hope that's a dragon yeah. tail or whatever. Okay, thank God. It's just like a. Hook. It looks like it's the top of their hair. Thank God. Because if it wasn't... It's, it's... It's Japan. What are these characters and why are they shaped so weirdly? Um... What is wrong with their faces? Okay, I want to pay close attention to the second one there with the blue shirt. Yeah. Now, I want to give Japan the benefit of the doubt. But that looks suspiciously like blackface. Uh, I think they're wearing pilot masks. I really, I really hope those or, are pilot masks. Or they're actually just monkeys. Um, okay, all right. I'm not. I don't want to be that guy. It just, it's kind of, kind of cringe if it's, if it's what I think it is. Scuba doo wah. Scuba dee doo. Uh, it's dirty. It's like my cooch. Jesus. Nobody said it would be luxurious. Mm, nobody said it would be platitudinous. <laughs> I hate games like this where it takes like. Yeah. 30 minutes just to get the game started. Dear Dr. Zucchetto, this blue land you told me about is a floating steel island. I'm living on a shabby ship, and there are so many people here that I don't know. I haven't met this Roxette person yet either. I'm feeling really lonely, but I believe in what you said. From tomorrow on, I'll try to give it my all. Your daughter, Josette. P.S. Whatever happened to my brother Pinocchio? <laughs> Oh, he's a dildo now. Every time I tell him to lie he's, to me all the time. He's a dildo and Courtney loves the house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am controlling the bird, just so you know. Mm -hmm. what is, <laughs> raise the roof, raise the roof. Boo boo, the bees say well, well. Boo boo, we have the brother say well. 
What the hell is going on? What are you supposed to do? Um. <laughs> um. Don't look so happy about it. Were you supposed to answer in some way, or...? I didn't give me the option to, so... I should explain how to communicate with me. All right. That would be great. Behind me, you can see Bird, the interface robo. Bird, bird, bird. Yeah. Bird, bird, bird. He'll intermediate our communication. Okay. Okay. Is she about to sing? This is a Disney movie? Try pressing the Z trigger behind the 3D well, stick. That's not where it is when, on my controller, but yeah. Okay. Blue button, that's B, I believe. Okay. And that's A. Okay. Wait, so this is just a child care simulation? It, 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 it's more like, you remember the Pac-Man game where you kept having to tell, direct him where to go? Yeah. Look, look. Did you understand? Yes. Bye, bird. So he swings both ways, huh? Yep. Cool. <laughs> what the f B butt, the doctor was right. <laughs> B butt? And rock steady. I'm relieved. I'm gonna have to get a towel because you just relieved all over the floor. Doki Doki. Literature club. Oh no! She's gonna kill us. See you, me. Who bird in that direction? And press the Z trigger. Got okay. It. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you it's, are, it's a lot like that Pac-Man game. She is overly cheerful and it is unsettling. Mm. Do -do 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 -do. Somehow, this game takes on an oddly sinister tone. It's like, I'm a, I'm a robot girl and you have to control me. No. <laughs> Bird's doing an O for yes. Next is... Next is... Why do you keep running away and then back? Are How? you trying to tell us the difference between near and far? To take out an object from the lower window, move the 3D stick down. Uh -huh. I'm going to just fly around for a little bit. Whee! I really don't see the appeal in this. This is very uh, weird. Why you say? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot of instructions. Is it? And the fact that she... And, oh, and there's more! 
place bird over uh... Yes, 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 we understand. Can we get to the fucking game, please? Oh my god, no, no. Okay. <sighs> Buttons and sticks. What does all of that mean? Hey, it don't matter. None of this None matters. Of this matters. You can buy objects in your computer shop. Sofa. So oh, fucking. God, what? Why what are the... you playing baseball? Are you good are at you sports? Good? No. Uh, no. Hmm. Really? Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now that we've basically we've gotten the gist of it, we're not gonna get to play any of it, but uh, we've gotten the gist of what the game is about. Thoughts on Wonder Project J two, Dane? Um, I, I, I hate, I hated the Pac World controls or whatever that game was called. Uh, Pac Man: The New Adventures, I think. Yeah, that's it. So if this game is basically that, except you're controlling around a fucking oddly cheerful robot girl, yeah, that's a hard pass for me, dog. Yeah, it's a. Um, I found Pac Pac Man: The New Adventures a, a more frustrating than anything uh, when I was playing it uh, when I played it originally. It, this seems like it's gonna be a lot of the same. Uh, and I'm not really into that. I will give you this. It's an intriguing looking game. It looks great. The animation is, is pretty solid. But the gameplay, I'm just not a fan of. Scores out of 10, Dane. Two. I'm going to be a little bit more generous and give it a four. On this edition of the show, we played Blast Core, Killer Instinct Gold, and Wonder Project J2. Best game of the episode, Dane? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with blast. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna go with Killer Instinct Gold. Yeah, I was gonna go with Ki Gold. Uh, thank you for joining us for this edition of Backseat of Retro Roulette, I should say. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. <laughs> for Dane Forgione, I'm Mike Riley saying, see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody.